This is Spinnaker3, and today I'm going to be taking on the Cavalier Vent Quest Blade. And I know a lot of people were finding this fight tricky earlier in the month. I personally didn't find it to be that bad, but I also did use Mojo. And what makes Mojo so good here is that there is Power Shield, and Mojo can lock in a considerable amount of degeneration damage, which is very easy for getting down a majority of Blade's health which in my opinion is the hardest part of this fight. I mean, life cycle is going to trigger a few times in this fight. Like I'm going to have to play around the node, but life cycle in itself isn't the trickiest thing in the world because this node also has perforate, which will give me unblockable specials, but we'll get there later. Here you notice I get a combo to the face because I just was not playing this that well. So that is a little unfortunate, but as long as I can get the special two decks, I should be good. Now, one of the big issues in this fight is Power Alternator. You notice that bar in the right-hand corner of the screen is ticking down, and I need to dump my power the second it gets to zero. Because if I have a special 2 and Blade gets his special 2 because of Power Alternator, then his special 2 is going to be entirely unblockable. I'm not confident in trying to dex it. I don't even know if it can be dex fully. I don't want to get mixed up in that. So you notice right there, I had thrown my special one into his block just to sort of get rid of that power and dump it. I have to do it again here as well. So it is a bit unfortunate, but the nice thing about Mojo is that I'm constantly putting degenerations and even the life cycle prevents damaging debuffs from actually taking down the opponent. The degens still do work. And you notice right here, I throw my special two and each degeneration take is over 5k, 5,300 per half second. That is 10,000 damage per second, which is just an incredible amount of damage. And because Mojo only has four hits on his special two, you notice that Flux Dispersal is barely going to reduce the amount of damage that Blade takes from those degeneration amounts. And that just makes this fight significantly easier. So you notice here, I do get the degenerations off with nine flux dispersal charges. But again, the flux dispersal charges are only reducing my basic hit damage. The degenerations are still taking down for the same amount each time. You notice the 465 never changes. And so here I'm nearing the end of the 100% health on blade, which means I'm going to have to start playing into life cycle. So you notice I miss it here, unfortunately, which is sad, but what it's whatever, you know, I just have to go back through the cycle again and power alternator kicks in. So I'm definitely going to have to play it a little carefully. So now that I've gotten the tough part out of the way, which is just getting blade down this far without him throwing a special two to my face and having enough damage because Mojo is just so good at delivering that damage around flux dispersal, I just have to knock him down and then throw a special. So I'm going to try and bait out this special. I want to knock him down before he gets the regen. It was so close right there. The degens actually ticked him down, which is one of the more unfortunate parts of the fight. If you want to make, do make this happen a lot quicker, you can use Mojo for the first like 100% and then bring in Warlock for the ending because that will be a really easy way to get it down. But here you notice I knock him down and I'm so close again. I just need to stay idle, get this knockdown right here, and then the degeneration should finish it off. And just in case, I throw my special one, and that is the end of that fight. And that is one of the tougher Cavi Q bosses soloed by Mojo. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment on who you used for the Blade boss, and I'll catch you later.